Donc, je vais parler des, des I will talk de about intense rainfall and flash floods happening in the Mediterranean region, and there are changes uh, due to climate change. First of all, this picture obtained by uh, merging data from uh, pluviometric uh, measurements and uh, pluviographic uh, radar measurements in 2014 we see a total cumulative quantity of rain uh, which uh, reached uh, 500 millimeters in a matter of days. On the right-hand side, we have pictures showing the impact that this event has had on uh, roads and railways, as well as pedestrians who found themselves uh, in difficulty simply to cross a road. Now, intense rainfall is not a rare evenience. Uh, we have uh, a picture here showing the areas where there is more than 200 millimeters uh, of rain. The darkest color represent areas where this happens uh, more than twice a year, and the Seven Mountains uh, are the most exposed. And the uh, whole Mediterranean region uh, is uh, faced with this kind of phenomenon more than anywhere else. Now, we know the conditions which favor intense rains, and therefore we can predict them three or four days in advance, which helps manage them. But on the regional level, we see that there is a large variety of uh, rain systems uh, controlled by local conditions and more difficult to predict. Orographic rain uh, is the most easy to uh, predict, moderate in density lasting for several days, whereas at the other extreme we have uh, mesoscale convective, convective uh, systems, deep convection uh, which are partially stationary and will lead to very intense rainfall. These two types of rainfalls may lead to 500, 600 millimeters in a matter of days for orographic uh, rains, and sometimes in less than 24 hours for the mesoscale convective system, such as what happened in the Gar area in September of uh, 2003. In order to predict this on the national scale, we need uh, high resolution models uh, to model convection and uh, systems that are fed by local uh, recordings. Spectacular progress has been made in France over the last few years with the AROM model. However, we still observe that quantitative predictions may be biased uh, and uh, may suffer from flaws. And sometimes the uh, spatial offset uh, is uh, several dozens of kilometers, which makes it more difficult to manage the crisis. Now, hydrology. The one notion that is important is the uh, delay before the hydrologic response, the time that elapses uh, before there is a hydrological response and the water flows within the ba basin. Here we have uh, the uh, Mediterranean and Alpine watersheds and uh, the surface uh, is obviously one of the factors to explain the phenomenon. The large uh, river basin, the Rhone or its affluence, will respond in a matter of uh, weeks, one to two weeks, uh, whereas the mountain uh, watersheds will respond in one to six hours, and the urban uh, basins will have shorter response times between 10 and 60 minutes. Also, interestingly, these uh, hydro hydrologic scales match the uh, scales of the uh, rainfall systems that generate the response. It is believed that a convective uh, cell may uh, generate intense phenomena on an urban watershed, and therefore it takes a convective uh, mesoscale event to generate a very strong hydrologic response on mountain watersheds. The second uh, element that we need to consider, the complexity of the hydrological processes that we're looking at. We know how to characterize what happens on the surface. We know which uh, runoff mechanisms are involved and infiltration of water in the, in the ground. But we don't understand what is really taking place at a deeper or at, at a greater depth regarding saturation and dynamic properties. 
Therefore, we need to uh, perform a change of paradigm if we want to meet the objective uh, to be able to predict the hydrologic response on the local level, but also on the regional level. This is really a challenge nowadays for the com scientific community. The next question is how these uh, intense uh, and flash events going to evolve over the next few decades. This graph shows the uh, average temperature evolution in France uh, over the last uh, 110 years and also what is due to the increased uh, CO2 concentration in the atmosphere. The climate is become increasingly Mediterranean which might be okay in terms of uh, sunshine, but uh, we need to understand that the uh, atmosphere will contain more water vapor. Climate models uh, predict that there will be more severe droughts and more intense rainfalls, but there are still uncertainties regarding the uh, reliability of the predictions regarding the water cycle and the extreme events. If we believe that observed data, what can we uh, say? Here we have the evolution of a criterion that characterizes intense rainfall ever since the 1950s. Maximum daily rainfall observed every day and standardized uh, over the year. We drew an average of uh, what was observed uh, in the Mediterranean area and outside of the Mediterranean area. So Mediterranean area is in red. We can see that the Mediterranean area shows a huge amplitude, but interestingly, the red curve also shows a high variability from one year to the next. More recently, we have observed three peaks, three exceptional events which took place in 1999 in the old area, 2000 uh, in the in 2003 in the whole Mediterranean area. There have also been uh, intense uh, rainfalls in 2010 and 14. Is this sufficient to uh, conclude there is a trend, an upward trend? Can we uh, ascribe this trend to the uh, global warming? It is too early, I believe. But we do believe that there is has been a signal over the last few years pointing in that direction. How do we mitigate the, chain, the impacts of the global climate change? I moved from the climate change to the global climate change because uh, northwest, uh, the Northwest Mediterranean Basin is uh, undergoing a flow of migration from uh, southern countries, people who have been treated uh, badly in their countries. And there is also a migration from the north to the was the south for the summer for tourism, only a seasonal process, but it may have an impact, a strong impact on water resource uh, management. Here we have a map showing the percentage of the population living in areas that can be flooded. In 2009, the uh, figures are between 20 and 50 percent. The Mediterranean area is obviously highlighted, and for the most exposed areas, there are, there are uh, risk prevention plans in place, yet the stakes are still huge to control land occupation with structural measures in order to prevent people from building new houses in uh, flooded in areas that can be flooded and protecting those flooded those areas from the floods Another direction in which we're working consists in gaining a better understanding of the uh, interaction between intense meteorological events and society at large. This graph illustrates a work conducted by uh, researchers who uh, work in human and social sciences and also meteorological sciences. And with local surveys, field surveys, they tried to understand how people who witnessed these events became aware of the fact that they were about to to be uh, submitted to a, uh, an extraordinary event, what they did to protect themselves uh, and uh, what happened also with the alarms uh, which were raised by the uh, people in charge of weather forecasts. These uh, studies are probably, we hope so, going to uh, provide uh, 
as with the way to improve the way the alarm is uh, disseminated so that we can educate people and make them become aware in such a way that uh, there will be less casualties when such events uh, happen. We may notice that an increase in the intensity and number of uh, such events could have an impact on the, the way land is going to be planned and risk is going mitigated. Still, it is still difficult because obviously people all want to go and live in that area and want to build houses along the coast. So we'll still need to work in this direction. Thank you.